Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and last night my phone broke so I can't hear any sound through it um, and it's pressing buttons on it, it tries to press 100 so I need a new phone and a new recording device for the videos so I couldn't go today so I'm planning on going tomorrow morning um, so let me know if you can hear it because I won't know until I'm doing the editing so let me know if you can hear just step just yes you can hear me that's all i need to know um so we'll crack on we'll have a good day today and then tomorrow we'll go get a new phone and we're, i'm trying to get a better one so you can have better quality videos how about that how about that so please don't subscribe comment and share ring the bell for me we're gonna crack on we've got some good days today we can do some feeding and stuff like that so uh i'll see you in a bit no worries i put headphones in and i can hear it so i know we've got we've got audio so that's good so we're gonna crack on i've got to turn all the fish lights on um, and then we go through, we do all our jobs for today and then I want to do some handling and training of the European Oil Lizards, that's one of the important jobs today. So we crack on, we get everything all turned on and we're ready to go. Yay! The main job today is going to be, as I said, trying to tame down our little European Oil Lizards a little bit more. Um, doing some more handling and stuff like that. Um, just trying, well, it's going to be really feeding. Uh, I'm going to be putting my hand in there and getting him to come on my hand to feed. That is the idea. Um, he's still going to be a bit rah, 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 until he gets full up. As soon as he's full up, then he might get a bit more chilled out. Um, but we're going to see how we go. We're going to do all his jobs for him as well. We're going to give him a spray and stuff like that. But uh, first, I need to do some jobs on the fishes. So, with, with the tanks, we've got the wood in. The wood slowly breaks down over time. And if you've got a pleck in the tank, they eat the wood and spit out chunks of it and stuff like that. So you end up with a very fine layer of muck on top of the sand. So I'm going to be siphoning all that out today out of the tanks that have got wood in. Especially if you've got snails in the tank as well. They're, they're, they're eating it as we speak. Going through it all, eating it. So... You have to go through, siphon those ones off a little bit more often than the other ones, and uh, I'll clean that filter as well. So, but that filter is filthy. So, we're going to do that today. So, we'll do a little bit of water changes, and then we're going to be doing the, t the taming and training, and then we might do some more fish feeding and stuff like that because I don't know what the piranhas do, but I've had gave them free fish now, and I haven't found any bodies or anything. So, they're just eating the whole thing. My plan is to, we're going to do this one together, then we're going to sort out some of the sand as well, and then I'm going to go through and montage the rest, and then we can crack on and do some more training with the European Old Lizard and some other animals if we get chance. So we've got to open the tank up. We're going to be siphoning first. No, what we're going to do is I think I'm going to get the filter out first. No, I'm going to change my mind again. <laughs> So we need some water in the bucket to clean the filter. So if we siphon first, then we can clean the filter in the dirty fish tank water. Because that's how you do it. You never clean a filter under the tap, because that's where all our good bacteria lives. And the chlorine in the tap will kill all the good bacteria, and then you start in your tank again, which you don't want to do. So we always wash that in dirty tank water or dechlorinated tap water, if at a must. Oakley doakley then. So here we have our siphon. Normally they have a little flappy in here, it stops the water going back, but I've had to take it out because it just wasn't working right. So I've had to, literally, I've just broke it on the inside. So I've just got a straight hole. So what I'm going to do to pre-prime this is we completely submerge it under water, hold this pipe, bring it out, and then it starts to flow for us. Or you could just suck on the pipe. But if we can avoid sucking the pipe, we will. <laughs> so... We're going to submerge the whole thing. I'm going to start at one end and work up to the other. So we want to be nice and steady because we don't want to disturb the sand if we can. Okay? So you can't see, but there you go. I've got the pipe. I put my finger on the end. It's all full of water. So when I pull it out, I should be able to let go of this and it all start siphoning. Ready? There you go. So 
So we've got to go nice and steady because we don't want to suck up the sand. We just want the nice floaty bits of wood that are on top. So I'm going to do multiple sweeps across. And I'm going to get a bit of sand, there's no stopping that. So I'm literally just doing like a hoover, zooming across the bottom. Sucking up as much as I can. It's hard because there's going to be quite a bit trapped underneath the log. So I'm going to have to redo the siphon. There we go, and I can just let go again, and that'll start the siphon off again. Watch out, little fishy. So normally this is too slow of a flow to pull up any fish, which is good, really. Oh, that's a nice big thick layer. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. I think we've got most of it out of the siphon now. That means we've got to clean this filter. Ooh. So it's still a little bit murky, but that's we tried our best. We've got most of it off the floor now. I am gonna cover this gravel, this um, the under gravel filter plate back up. So I don't want to use my arm, so I'm just gonna get at the uh, the old net. Use the arm of the net, just drag a little bit of sand back. There we go. Because in this tank, the under gravel filter isn't doing anything, it's just underneath the tank. Because it doesn't, under gravel filters don't work on sand, it's too fine. There we go, put that back. Go, and we should be able to just cover the last bits. Sweet. Lovely job. Now we've got to clean the filter. So we have got a snail living in the filter. So we might have to pop that bit of pipe off. Okay, there he is. Come on, Mr. Snail. So I'm just going to take the air pipe out for now so it's not bubbling everything. And I've just got to whip this out as quick as I can and then straight into the bucket. And whoop. Okay. So I'm going to wash this now. Literally, it's just going to be a couple of squeezes. But it's going to be, yeah, that is thick. Yeah, that's thick of nasties. Well, not nasties, but wood, wood bits wood powder from all the fishes eating it. Okay, so I've cleaned it. It's not perfect, but it's a lot cleaner than what it was. So I'm going to put the airline back on. Put the tube back on. We can lower it back down. There we go. And that's going to start doing its job again. Cleaning everything, it's gonna suck, it's gonna have a little bit of a jig because of course I've just loosened anything that was on it. So that's now gonna suck up any of the excess that's in the wa water. Because what it does, the air makes a vacuum. So the air forces all the water in the tube to go out the top. And then the water goes, ha, huh, there's a space in there, we need to fill it with water. So the water gets forced through the sponge and then the air pushes it out the top. And it does a cycle of water through the sponge out the top, through the sponge, out the top. It's all about the water making a vacuum that the water always wants to fill that space up. So that's how it works. So there you go, that's how you do a sponge filter and that's just siphoning the gravel. So I'm gonna go through, I've got to do some siphons on some more of the tanks with the wood in because there's, you can see the wood's piling up on the bottom. So we do them ones. I'll do a couple more if I get chance as well. We do have to do the treatment on the balloon mollies again. So, a little balloon mollies, they look like they're doing okay. So, uh, I'm happy with that. They look a lot better than they did yesterday. So, uh, we shall give them their treatment once I've done the water changes, which is 
0.4 mil of the parasite and fungus. Okay, so I'm going to start the rest of them now. I'm going to do more than what I'm going to do on the video because you don't want to see me doing thousands of them. Uh, but we're going to do a little montage and we're going to bosh out some tanks. So cue music, cue montage. Wow. There we go, I've done those ones. I'm gonna do some more, but that way. Um, so I'm gonna top these ones up now, do these ones, and we'll crack on and do some more stuff like that. Well, you won't see these ones, though. Uh, but the next bit is gonna be European oil lizard training and feeding. So we'll see how we get on, and then uh, hopefully he does well. Okay, I've got you set up. So I've got the lizard, I've just given him a little bit of a scare. <laughs> but we're all set up. So we're gonna be opening this up, feeding him, and trying to get him to come out on my hand a little bit. So, um, so we get on. We're back in a sec with some buggies. Okay, so we can open it up. Mm. Okay. Oh, he's dropped his leg. Ow, not my hand, not my hand. There you go. Whoa! He bit it in half. So he did touch me and he did bite me at one, well, tried to bite me. Um, but of course, it's early days, he's still working out what's food and what's me. So, it won't be long, we'll be moving him into a bigger tank, I think. He's getting a good sized little lizard. So he did shoot off this, ah, there's his tail. I can just see the tip of his tail. So we could try and get him to come and have another one. Where is he? Okay, he's down there. Hey, mate. What's this look? That was really good. Came out on my hand. What we want to do next step would be him staying on my hand and eating the whole thing while he's here. So uh, I'll let him eat that one and we're going to keep doing it. And eventually he should get a little bit more chilled out. And at the end he might eat the last one sat on my hand. But that would be best case scenario that would. So, uh, yeah, I'm putting it. Come on, then. Come get it, then. Oh, tuggy, 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 tug. Look, he's doing it. I told you, he's doing it. He's right there. Each time, he's getting braver and braver. There we go, and he's not running off as far, which is fantastic. It's almost like I know what I'm on about. <laughs> so hopefully this time, he should sit on my hand and eat it. In theory, maybe next time. So we're still going to go slow because he's still a bit of a wimpy pants. He's still eating. Come on, then. Oh, he stayed a little bit longer than last time. He's definitely doing well. I'm going to keep feeding him until he's full. Oh, my phone's going off. My other phone. I've had to get two phones now. The other one's not good enough to film. But uh, it's what I'm using for me calls at the moment. But eventually I'll be getting a new one to do everything. Come on then, come get it. See, he's not as hungry now, so he's not as keen, so he's thinking about what he's doing. See if I can get a bit of a zoom for you. How's that? A bit better. Come on then. What a little dude, what a little dude. So he's getting a little bit more slower and slower each time because he's getting fuller and fuller so he's not as keen for the bugs. When he's really hungry, he'll do anything you want to get the bug. But now he's not as hungry, he's like, ah, do I really want to do that to get the bug? What's this then, mate? Come get it then, come on. Oh, you took the head and missed everything else. Got the rest of it. Cause I just took the head clean off. And the rest of it. Oh, he just left me guts. Oh. 
Thanks for that, sir. We ain't got many left in the tub. We've got two left. So it's hopefully this will fill him up and we'll be raring to go. Coming for one more. He might be a bit full. He looks a little bit full to me. What do you think, buddy? Do you want one more? Well, you think he's still trying to wiggle it down? Yep, still trying to wiggle it down. Come on, then. Go and get the last one. Or is that you full for today? Is you finished? Or did you want one more? <laughs> what you thinking, eh? What you thinking? No? We had enough. Oh, he wants one more. Come get them. Oh my God. Look what he's doing. That was fantastic. He was sat on my hand. Oh my God. Yes! I don't think he's going to have any more there. I think he's pretty full now. So I think that's a really, really good taming session. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now that was good. That was really, really good. So each step you saw, he got better and better and better and stayed on me longer and longer and longer. That's how you tame them down. You can do that with most of the lizards that are food orientated, which means as soon as they see food, they, they, they lose all their fear. So if you've got a lizard like that, the more you do it, they'll lose them. They will just completely get rid of all their fear and then they'll just be nice little ch chilled out lizards. Uh, it's gonna take a bit of time. Of course it always does. You see even the sail fin, who I've done two years worth of training. He's still as funny when he wants to be. Um, but yeah, really, really good progress. Wah wah ha, brownie point for the European old lizard. So to finish off the day, I think we'll feed the puffers and we'll feed the piranha and the wolf fish. So we'll get them fed and then I'll do the final axolotl count for today. So I've brought the axolotls down. Uh, over the last two days, we've gone down to 205. Um, still got loads left. Um, we're getting to the, the ones we've got left are getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Some of them are really quite big now. So I'm thinking <laughs> next couple of days, they can start producing legs. Um, so we're gonna, I'm going to do the water changes while the food defrosts, feed the fishes, do the final count. So I've got the fishes defrosted, I've done four tubs, we've lost one per tub so far on average. So uh, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Thing is, a lot of the bigger ones are knocking around some of the littler ones now. So I think the next couple of days we're really going to have to look at separating them all off into their own tubs. All I thought it was when they had legs, but it looks like they've been trying to get each other's tails. So uh, I think separating them off is going to come on a bit earlier than we thought. Wolfie first, Mr. Wolfie. We get him a nice fishy, nice big fishy. Uh, that one will do, because he's going to have two. Oh, he's a good lad. Come on, I've got another little one for you. Come on, buddy. Come on, I got another fishy. Come on. You gotta wait for that one to go down, is that what it is? He's a big lad, he's nice and thick now. He's getting a thick fish. Come on, oh, I dropped it, I dropped it. No? Okay. Looks like just one for today. I'm going to get the glasses shut. We'll give it to Mr. Oscar. Hello, Oski. Hello. Oh, that didn't last long, did it? Oh. Calm down, calm down. What are you going mad for? Calm down. You am okay. You've had your fish. Chill out. It's okay. It's puffer time, and I know what they're like now. They go straight for the fish's eyes. So weird. But I think that must be the softest spot. 
Look. Is he going to go for it? Usually they, go, they look for the eyes. There he goes, straight for the eye, look. Boom, there's one eye. <laughs> Come on, lads. Where's the other one? There should be four here. Where's number three? Where's number three? Oh, he's in the hole. He doesn't know there's a fish about. He doesn't know there's a fish. You could have at least gone and told him. That's a bit shady. A bit shady, eating it all while he's not here. Come on, dude. We can't be having this, can't be having this. Yeah, I'm dude. Come on, little dude, you could have some. You could have some, mate. Come out, come on, be brave. There's a good lad. Nice and brave. Come get some food then. Come on then, little one. Have some food. Why is he going away? You might have to wait till these ones are finished, I'm guessing. Must be the hierarchy they've got. So we let that go. Whoa. And then we feed the piranhas. Once they get bigger, we'll start giving them their own individual fish and stuff like that. So there's no fighting then. Well, there's no fighting, I just think he's a little bit scared of everybody else. Hello, piranhas. So literally, they eat the bones and everything. I've been putting fish after fish in here and there is nobody left in here after. They're still really scared though, so they won't eat food like this. I've got to drop it. <laughs> and over time they'll come down and start eating it. So they take their time getting to it, but once they start it, they just throw it around and rip chunks out of it. It's crazy. So there we go. I've done all the water changes. I'm just about to feed them. The new count for today is 195. So we've lost 10, which is about 5%, which is not bad at all. So a lot of them are getting really big now. Um, some of them are still quite small, so I'm assuming we're going to lose a couple more. Um, but a lot of them now are big, stocky, and doing really well. So uh, let's see if we can find a big one for you. So there's a good example, big one, right, big one at the front, tiny one next to him, three years probably, he's almost a full finger width, and then the one behind, look like that one, is barely even half, so you can see some of them are huge, fully digesting and doing stuff, some of them are still quite small and delicate. Go on then, little ones. Whoa, it's a tiny bit too much. I have to go back through them. Whoa, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through these. It's putting in a bit too much. So I'm gonna go back through, siphon some of these out, and I'll put it into these ones. Okay, so just put that in there. That's a lot better. Whoa, come on, there we go. Whoa, same again, too much. That's enough in that one. So I'll go through there and I'll put half that into the back one. So there we go, all sorted, all fed, all ready to go. So that's all the time I've got for today. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that lovely bell for me if you haven't already. If you want to watch a new video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to help support me, the YouTube, the, uh, the shop, the rescues and all stuff like that, there's a link in the description below where you just click join. Uh, and if you want to see where I get my animals from, there's a link down there as well. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.